Hey guys, I'm going to do a little night hammering on these cymbals. As long as I can see a reflection of where I'm hitting to be able to go back and make sure I've got enough hammer marks. I've already done uh, some on the bottom. I'm going to, I've done the outer edge. I'm going to come in and do closer to the inside. Um, so I'll change the camera angle here where you can see it a little bit better. But, but I've got it on the outer edge. Just need to get closer to the bell here. So I'm going to do that. I go back and look where there might be some spots I didn't get just to make sure it's uniform so you don't want to get done and then come back and have a spot you missed Some people talk about letting it rest um, in between after you've hammered in the next hammering session. Um, I've just done them all at one time. That may not be the best way, but uh, that's how I've done it. And they seem to turn out fine. Um, I don't know if it's different with different alloys, but I've hammered mostly B8. It seems to be the easiest to work with and the most forgiving as well. I can get a good reflection on this to be able to see where the hammer marks are and if I've missed anything. And then later I'll take the graffiti remover and get these uh, these logos off. All right, now I'm gonna flip it over and do the bottom side. Go in closer to their bell now. Alright, got the bottom symbol done. I'll move on to the top symbol. Right. 
Got a dog that doesn't like me over there. Move in farther.
Uh, next thing will be to lay these and get them uh, ready to play. But uh, I'll let them sit overnight because I can't really lay them anyway. And I'll do that tomorrow and I'll probably take off a decent amount of weight off the top hi-hat and leave the bottom pretty similar to what it is now just because I like a, a thinner bottom with a, a decently heavy uh, bottom hat with a thinner top. So uh, I'll get that done and then they'll be ready to play. Hey guys, sorry for the low light, but uh, it's not real late in the morning. It's a little uh, rainy outside, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and lay the top of this. Um, what I've been doing is using sandpaper on the bell instead of lathing it um, with the bit. So I've got my uh, drill here in the, in the vise, and I'm just going to plug it in and get started. Now I'm going to get the bit and get started on the rest of the symbol. I need to tighten this down a little bit more to spin it. Alright, should be good to go now. You see it's changing color where it's uh, lathing certain areas. Um, sometimes you get spots that aren't as much laid as much as the other, so you want to go back and redo that. And <clears throat> holding the bit different directions and how much pressure makes a big difference as well. Depends on how much you want, how much weight you want to take off. Um, I'm going to keep going since it's the top, top symbol for the hi hats. So I like a thinner, thinner one on the top. So. Of course, I'm going to take more weight off the bottom, but I might go a little bit more on the top and then switch it over. Good to go now. Tighten up the drill a little bit, it gets loose. I got the spot ready for the symbols. Um, got them hammered, lathed, and ready to go. Here's what they look like. Just 
before I'm burying him. Um, as you can see where I laid it and the hammer marks. Um, let's we'll just go ahead and put these down in here. We'll make it as level as I can. pretty good there um, one of the key things now I've learned to make it happen faster uh, this uh, lemon ammonia or any kind of ammonia just uh, don't try to breathe it in it's pretty strong but you want to give a good dosage of it make sure it goes over the whole symbol We're just going to cover these things up, let them sit for a week or two, and uh, see what they look like afterwards. And hopefully, these will be really cool for whoever the winner is. <laughs> 